Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna show you my build of my Zoomed Planodarium. Um, I've had this set up for about a year now, so if you guys would like to see how I set this up, please stick around. So this is the Zoomed Small Planodarium. It is 24 by 24 by 12. It is stated that the water portion of the setup holds 4 gallons of water. First thing out of the box is this handy instructional manual. The way it opens up is quite nice and secure. It comes with this New Zealand Spagna Moss, some cork bark, this platform to hold the soil, some cocoa core, way more than you'll need, an internal filter, and this UVB and plant growth dual bulb light. It comes with a nice background, but as you'll see later, I'm going to use a DIY background instead. So right now, I'm just going to show you how it might be set up with minimum extra work. Putting in the filter, which I ended up not using, The light just conveniently sits on the top like this. And comes with two bulbs. A nano LED, which I'm guessing is for plant growth, and this reptile sun to provide essential UVB for potential reptiles. I'm planning to put frogs in here. So I decided to put in these sticks in order to help them get out of the water. As mentioned earlier, I decided to make a DIY background. Sorry I didn't record making it, but basically you use expanding spray foam, black if possible, and then you coat it with silicon and stick loose cocoa core on it while it's still wet. I'll link a video by Aquarimac if you'd like to learn more about the technique. Here I'm adding the substrate. Start with a layer of volcanic cinder rocks, followed by a layer of New Zealand sphagna moss, followed by my special blend of organic potting soil and worm castings and followed up with some wild dirt from my backyard to add some natural bioorganisms to the system and finally topped off with some additional organic potting soil. Here I'm just adding some plants. And I do apologize, but I don't know the names of these terrestrial plants. And here I'm just adding in some natural colored aquarium gravel. and placing the DIY background on the platform. I decided to do a simple scape in the water portion. Adding a ball of Pelia moss, cirrus stone, and some java fern in the back. And adding in the sticks to help the frogs climb out of the water. Now it's time to add the frogs. These are Japanese wrinkle frogs that I found in my backyard ponds. And some gold dust geckos, also from my backyard.
And here's what the paludarium looks like today. Here you can see one of the Japanese wrinkle frogs. And as you can see, I added some bromeliads and some kind of ficus vines. I like to turn on this fogging feature, which is actually a human grade fogging feature that I bought from Ross. It's much cheaper than the kinds that I meant for pets. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed a look at my Zoomed Planetarium. Thanks for watching.